How you doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. Apologies for uploading, uh, not even speak properly. But apologies for not uploading for a while, but I've been all day in Spain for two weeks. So we've had plenty of time to rest, get drunk, and now we're, re we're ready to rock and roll with the cars. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, we are finishing the, finishing the skyline off. We've just got minor things to do. Let get a tune, a final tune, put the radio in, put the rest of the interior panel, uh, plastics back in, stuff like that. Little things. And now we've got an Honda Civic, a 1.6 Petro with a couple of little mods, nothing major. And um, we're going to build this one soon, as soon as we finish that. So uh, that's the situation. If you um, haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel to see this build. And if you haven't seen this Skyline build, go and check it out on the playlists. But yeah, we're going to put the radio on, I think, today. Radio for the Skyline and get the last bits done because I want to start the Civic. We've got lots and lots of parts. Obviously, if you've watched a couple of the other videos back when, you see what seats we've got for it, ready to rock and roll, go in there. But I'm going to do like the seats. I also want to like, not just clean the carpet, take the carpet out and I want to give it a good old clean and I'm going to dye it black because we don't like grey. Grey's ugly. And yeah, that's for the interior anyway. We've got a radio to go in, a nice like nine inch screen and stuff like that. A new engine, <laughs> brakes, everything. Everything's getting done on the car. Basically, it's going to look from this crusty old rusty Civic to, I don't say it's going to be mint because obviously we've still got like stuff like this that needs repainting. You know what I mean? Flaking clear coat, faded bonnet. But yeah, I can get all this painted and maybe even try and do it myself. Maybe wrap it. Who knows? We'll have to see what happens in the future. But yeah, let's get this thing finished. Sort of. <laughs> Stick it. Found the brackets that was on the car before with a single DIN radio that we had on. They've been in the water, same as the rest of the car when I got it. So I'm going to give them a quick lick of a uh, director rust hammer. I know you can't see them because they'll be beyond the radio, but I just don't like putting rusty stuff back on the car. And this is a stereo we got. This is bought for me like, I don't know, two, three years ago for Christmas. <laughs> and uh, obviously we've not fitted it yet. So we're going to do that. It's a decent stereo. See, I'm going to stick some paint on these. And we also need to sort out, again, I've shown you this millions of times. We need to sort this out because it is crusty and rusty, the same as the brackets. So we'll sand all this down, give that some paint. Not direct to rust stuff, some actual decent paint. We've got new gaiters, new, new handbrake covers and... You know handles and uh, new gear knobs so all the interior should look mint after this let's do it don't have to be nice it not have to be perfect because i say you can't see them it's just to get rid of the orange basically <laughs> just so it looks a bit cleaner inside the dash <laughs> wait you can't see i'm not doing a thick coat on them because i don't i don't want to be waiting too long I'm assuming these just fit straight to the stereo. Okay, here's all the other stuff I bought. A Momo weighted knob. It's got all the different uh, size adapters so we can fit it. A handbrake cover, which is universal apparently, so hopefully we can make that fit. Or Momo. Leather, real leather, gaiters. There's red stitching to match the seats and stuff. Yeah, should look good once it's all in. Right, I'm gonna start um, taking all the dash around and stuff off this off which is easy it just pops straight off i might have to take the steering wheel surround off which is not on properly anyway because i'm a i'm a bosch jobber <laughs> so uh yeah, let's get it off all the um all the plugs and stuff are still here so hopefully that just goes straight into the back <sighs> we never know okay we got all the dash off as you can see i just test fitted these brackets because i was figuring out where they go just had to watch a video on it but yeah, they go like that. So basically, I'm gonna have to remove this, which goes up here. Basically, I'm gonna have to figure out where to bolt it to the actual radio so that it fits in there. Double din. Let's get the uh, the radio opened. Yeah, you get a bunch of stuff. Harness. Don't know if that's an 
right for that car microphone usb that is an aux in rear monitor out so i'm taking out for like a reverse camera good you get some bolts as well to screw the actual stereo to them brackets because i was thinking you didn't get any i haven't got any oh that's a rear view camera a little surround for the uh screen some of these and an actual radio i'm assuming let's get it out well that worked out quite well the actual the harness that come with the stereo plugs straight into what i had in the uh in behind there and then there's a USB I'm plugging in in the microphone. I'm not going to bother with anything else because I'm not fitting a reverse camera or anything now. Maybe later on in the future I'll do it, but it'd be nice to have a reverse camera on this thing. You can't see anything when you're going back. So I will do that one day, but I just want a radio for the minute just to fill the hole in. Plus we're driving up to Castle Coombe on Saturday and we want some tunes. But yeah, I need to figure out the main thing is getting them brackets bolted under the side. I'm not really sure how you do that because obviously... You've got to screw them on. I'm probably being a noob. Probably have to watch another video on YouTube. And I'll let you know when I find out. I pulled that off. I mean, I'm assuming you don't need to use that. And you just screw it that straight onto the side of the actual radio. There's the radio anyway, if you haven't seen him. I'll show you when he's obviously turned on. But yeah, I'm just going to screw these brackets straight onto the side. And then ditch that. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm doing it wrong. But I'm going to do it anyway. All right. There we go. Brackets on. See if it mounts properly. Yeah, basically like that. So it's just pretty easy, really. Let's finish her off. Plug it all in at the back. Screw everything down. Put the dash back on. Test it first, obviously, before we put everything back together again. But I don't believe I've connected these speakers up because when... The body shop took the door cards off and the wires they cut them so i need to put new spades on them and i don't even know if them speakers work because they are very very old and they've been thrown around in the body shop so we'll test them i have no back speakers because they're in this shed which are even crustier than the front ones so we might have to get some new back ones but if the front ones work what the cables are at the back they're with spades on so i should be able to just buy some new rear speakers and everything's good but let's get this connected up and see if it turns on. Right, that's it all plugged in. I need to put two more screws down here. I need to find some because there weren't any in there when I opened when I took it all apart. But I'm gonna um I'm gonna give it a test. Let's turn the immobilizer on and off. What's gonna happen? Do we have power? Why not doing anything? <laughs> well that was a good good effort we have no power all right hey right. we don't need them right let me figure out okay we figured it out while we have no power this earth is not earthing properly basically so we've got a bit of earthing cable i'm gonna bang on a bolt here or something connect it to that and hopefully that should sort it when you put it all back together again let's have a go right moment of truth boys girls whoever's watching nobody oh let's turn them off we don't need the wipers oh look at that straight on we have electricity or did his air for ear look oh that is gangster right that's that good i'm gonna start um putting everything back together again and sort these speakers out so we actually can hear it and not just look at it but that's the result just an earthing cable happy days i'm a master electrician <laughs> all right god i'm knackered <laughs> everything's back together hopefully this goes on here because there's a bit of a gap you see what i mean Let's see what happens see if it fits but i've got to pull the dashboard back off to get it over and i right now i don't go on because this is like really close so i think that's just gonna have to do i mean it looks all right maybe i'll do something later try and figure it out but yeah this is this is snug and then that's really close so i could either trim the top of this or eh, i don't know i'll be all right for now 
It'll do. Right, let's have a little play. Right, just stuck that speaker, well, I've just connected it up. And we now have fuzzy noises. All I did is chuck some spades on. These things, nope. These are the things that are threw all over the floor. And they're all gravy. There you go. Illuminate. God, it's hot. Can we do anything? There you go. That's what noise we got. I can't get any. Um, 97.7 Radio 1, no, nope, nothing. I don't know what's this beef. Obviously I need to play with it. Not that one listening to the radio anyway, I'm gonna connect it to my iPhone. But, look, Apple CarPlay. <laughs> I'll have to read the instructions. I'll connect the other speaker up first. And I've also went and bought some new speakers for the rear because there's nothing in the back so check them in right i'm going to use these front these speakers that i bought from alfred's for the back for the front because these are old and they look minging for one thing they look a bit max power and the spade on this one snapped off so i can't get a connection onto it so I'm going to use these and then I'm going to go buy some more for the back. Oh. You're right, it's better. They're better speakers. They look better. Bosh, that looks better, doesn't it? Brand spankers. Check this mesh on, which just pops over. Sort of. <laughs> right, I need two hands. There he is. Handsome. Right, speakers on both sides in the doors and it makes fuzzy noises like before. So yeah, I think you'll get some rear speakers, but I ain't doing that today because I can't be bothered. I have uh, been messing around with the stereo system for ages. I'm gonna paint this center bit that's missing there, finally. And that is the interior done for the minute. I'll do the rear speakers another day. Should be a quick five minute job, but everything's not five minutes. Tidy up. Put that centre bit in, job done. All right, before I start sanding down that centre bit, I'm gonna uh, fit this new handbrake gator and also the uh, the Momo handbrake, which I'm assuming should be a nice easy job, is what we like. Chuck it over the top, tuck it in. Yeah, let's do it. This is ideal, isn't it? You get these little, you know, things that make you your knob fit <laughs> and um the biggest one's that one it doesn't fit over the top so and the other two are tiny look stupid ebay stuff i'm gonna have to like try and drill this one out a bit it's close drill it out hopefully it goes over the top else we're stuck with this rattly old one which is noise to clear out of me but yeah i'm gonna get a drill and try and drill it out Everything's such hard work. Right. Knob on. I decided to leave this one on because I think I prefer it better. And I bother to take the uh, basically underneath this when I fitted this. It's solid. It looks alright. It's um, loads of duct tape to make it, you know, make it not rattle. And it's gonna take me ages to peel that duct tape off. So I'm just gonna leave it for a minute. I want to. Um, I'm gonna start sanding that thing down the center bit in a minute and just get that painted. But Scott will be here in a minute. And he wants to do his brakes. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, we started doing uh, his brakes, but then ran out of time. We've done one side so far. We're doing, well, go check out if you haven't seen it. Break, braided lines, Brembo pads, and some new discs. But yeah, that's another, that's another thing. And when it's also when he gets here, I wanna test out these, um, these ramps that I bought from Halfords. It's a bit sketchy. I'm gonna wait for him to watch when I reverse back, see how uh, see how good it is, how high we can get the car off the ground. He can't drive up it because the front bumper's too low off the ground, but the back we can get away with. And if I can get it, if it goes quite high, 
be a lot easier to get underneath the car rather than jacking it up. So we'll have a little test about that when he gets here. But yeah, I'm gonna get this sanded down, painted, and that'll be it for this car today. Probably. <laughs> oh, and also we need to get a good old scrub because we're going to a car show tomorrow, Ford's Action Day. If you're going, guys, come say hello if you see me. And you can't go to a car show with a car all filthy like this. Look at the state of it. It's been sat for two weeks while I've been in Spain, so we need to give it a scrub once we've done the uh, interior panel. But yeah, let's do it. Here's Scotty with me old Civic. He's been uh, test driving this today because of his, obviously, his broken Subaru. Pure race car. He's probably thinking, why is, I should just get a Civic because Subarus are so slow. <laughs> Such a little gangster. Hey, look at that. So much room for activities. <laughs> What for? You've got to take your wheels off. Still looking handsome under there. That's a right purchase, that. Much better than jacking it up. Obviously, if you've got to take the wheels off, it's better. Right, sanded ish. Gonna stick some Philip Primer on it. See how flat it looks. And then stick some paint on it. Third coat of primer, looking nice. And I've got some gloss black from Alfred's. Eventually, we will take all the front of this dash off again and redo that in gloss black because it's all chipping off and stuff, but not today. All right, first coat of the old gloss black. These two bits come out quite nice, really. I mean, they ain't pro, but good enough for, for now. Just to get all the interior complete for the first time in like five years. Chuck these in once they're dry. And that's the interior pretty much done. And the exterior and the engine. I won't say the car's done, because it'll never be done. But we now have radio, gear knobs, Gators. We'll put the other gator obviously on that plastic thing and then it's complete. Alright guys, we didn't finish the interior of the Civic because Scott stole me for doing his Scooby. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. But um, all the parts are painted, all the interior parts. All these bits, you've seen it, you've seen it. They're all painted, they're all dry. But it's too late now to be messing around trying to fit in these interior panels and gaiters. So I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to drive it up late out tomorrow. It's got the radio and stuff, so we've got music now. And uh, I'll fit the other parts when we get back. On a Sunday, probably. But if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what you think down below. And I'll catch you next one, guys. Take it easy.